Hey guys, this is Piyush Agarwal, UiPath MVP 2023 and welcome back to my channel Automate with Piyush. So in this video, I am going to share about how to create your own custom activities with UiPath Windows compatibility. So I know there are videos on my channel for how to create the custom activity, but there is a slight difference between how you, we usually did that, which works in Windows legacy but with windows it's a different thing let me show so when we create a new process in the compatibility mode now we get three type of platforms windows cross platform and windows legacy windows legacy is going to expire and move out of ui path very soon so we are left with windows and cross platform in this video i am going to show how your activity will work with windows compatibility okay so let's jump over to our visual studio here it is we will create a new project the project type would be our uh, class library of dotnet framework you can search it in over here with these same things or you can you know, even search over here in the search bar for class library and it will show up this one so i will be selecting this from here next now i can give any name to the project so let's say excel add hyperlink so with this activity we are going to solve one more problem by default the right cell activity does not uh, write and link into excel directly like if i would write the https colon www.google.com it will be written in excel as a text only and not as a link so we are going to solve that problem as well through this custom activity now you need to make sure that your framework is chosen to 4.6.1 if it is not coming up in your list over here you can open the visual studio installer it is here and from here you can download its uh, runtime and sdk let me show so once this is open i would go to modify then let it load go to individual components and here you can see dotnet framework 4.6.1 sdk and targeting pack you should have these two installed while creating your own custom activities so <clears throat> let's continue back i will be creating a pro solution project and to save the time i already have written the code so i will be explaining you guys how to write that and even that is like kind of similar to what we have already built in our playlist uh, if you remember there is a video called right cell activity okay that we had created in one of the previous videos so here let's just copy paste the code so to now as usual few things are same just go to references add reference here go to assemblies download system dot activities and system dot component model dot composition while working with excel uh, in earlier videos we have downloaded com objects to be exact this microsoft excel 16.0 object library but with windows compatibility these com objects are going to throw some errors dependency errors or something so we are not going to use them these two are done now but we still need the microsoft office interop excel module so to use this we are going to go to project then manage nugget packages browse the same uh, assembly in here so microsoft.office if i search that first one i got install it it is going to download all the required dlls and required files into the core in our package this is done now going back to our file let me just quickly explain how we have created the code these are the usual files that we use for our code where system.component model and system.activities are what we require to work with uipath custom activities 
system dot runtime dot interop services and microsoft office these two are being required to interact with the excel com objects now i have given a namespace excel dot custom dot activities you could give anything just don't directly give to excel because excel would be being used by ui path as a standard name then i have given a link a public class add hyperlink text that is the activity name and code activity as usual i am inheriting from the ui path class this comes in your system dot component dot model and system dot activities now here we have created four default arguments here i had set some default value this you can remove not required for file path for sheet name maybe we can just say sheet one by default now for cell let's say by default its value can be a1 and value would be blank okay that's how our right cell even works now let's see it is throwing some error so this is not required and this is not required okay this is we are good with the input arguments there is no output argument in this scenario now i have created my void execute method here i will be taking up the values for the four uh, arguments we are taking from the user invoking the application workbook and the worksheet then here we take the range this is the cell address like if user would give a2 or a2 colon a3 that will come under range change its format to add the rate basically to a cell to text and finally the main thing the this is like the core of this particular activity excel worksheet dot hyperlinks dot add where at this range this is the cell value uh, for the third argument since we don't want to pass any value we are saying type dot missing and excel value excel value here it represents like what you want that link to be look like like if i am saying www.google.com it should be represented as same as link or maybe i can write google over there instead of that hyperlink so i just want that my url to be look as it is and i will close all the objects and release the com objects that's it so this is done from the code perspective now we used to do the same things for windows legacy so what's the difference between legacy versus windows very slight change now code part is done now let's start about complete converting this into a nubkg before that i will have to click on this project file and unload the project this lets me open the .cs project file for this solution here some for some it may open by just double clicking on it or if you can right click and click edit project file two methods now over here in this complete code we need to come up to this system dot activities remove this and update it here we need a hint path and uh, let's close our reference tag now what is the hint path here we need the path to system dot activities dot dll file okay even though if you are using it uh, on any system it will work even though over here while compiling you are giving your system username so i will just give the you this file path to get to this folder you can simply you know uh, search for ui path in your system click on open file location and then again same thing uh, right click over here and open file location it will open it the, uh, so again one more information ui path gets installed in two places either like in this manner username app data local for if uh, you are installing ui path for a local user if you are installing studio for the entire system it would be under c program files and then ui path so for now i have copied the system dot activities dot dll path and let's just paste it over here and save it then done now let's reload the project with dependencies check if there is no any uh, there are no assembly errors or something and double click if in any case you are working with any particular assembly which is throwing an error or not over here 
try to install it from the uh, nub kg okay through nugget this manage nugget packages so this is done now let's go to build and build the solution while it is being building it is compiling the dl file i will just open the nugget package explorer you can ignore whatever this all these lines that are coming as warnings these does not create any issues with our file so let's just wait to it for to build the file it build is successful so copying the dll path and going to create a new package now usually the first step would be to create a library folder now in windows legacy we would have just right clicked add existing file add the dll file but over here it will ui path will not detect that file so for ui path to understand that this is for windows compatibility add a .NET folder and rename it so you have to rename it to uh, net 6.0 windows 7.0 this should be its name second you need to go to edit edit metadata source now here add another tag dependencies and <clears throat> let's just paste it again and close the tag inside this we will get two dependencies for that group target framework one is our dotnet framework 4.6.1 close the group tag <clears throat> and second one is the windows 6 dot uh, net 6 so for that net 6.0 windows 7.0 and save the, uh, you might think like why we are doing this so here we are referring it that this particular framework this particular package can may work with 4.6.1 or dot net 6 with these two uh, frameworks and dot net types now that is done so i can just edit the metadata let's say id name can be excel hyperlink activity package version and everything can remain same go to file save as now let's just save this file so it says that uh, some contains some invalid character so maybe let's just remove the space and save save as done so the dll file uh, our nubkg is created now next to check is the nubkg oh okay i forgot to add the file itself that's the problem cool no worries so let's reload the project it's saying empty because i didn't edit the file so i will copy this dll file path go over here add existing file and done now let's just update the package by point one and save as going back manage packages update the package save wow that was a really silly mistake creating the whole entire folder structure and just not adding the main dll file okay and again i would need the file path to the excel so copy as path now we go to activities here you can see excel custom activities just like our namespace was there excel dot custom dot activities <clears throat> here is our activity 
this activity name you can write properly by changing it over here okay now the default values have came in this file path i will give okay so here now our value let's say https www.google.com this i wanted key to also just for the test purpose let's add a right cell activity as well this will be the file path sheet name cell content and cell address now let's just check test file so you see the right cell activity it has given even as normal as text whereas as our add hyperlink has given it as a link so if you even click on it it will open your browser for you hope you guys like this video if in case you are feeling like why do we need to create an hyperlink it's simply because if you give a uh, an output report an excel file to a certain user with some links over that you don't want your user to copy paste those links into his browser it should be simple as click on the link and the page should open that's all guys for this video hope you guys like that please do like share and subscribe to my channel and connect with me over linkedin also uh, one more thing guys uh, if you are in jaipur want to meet catch up have uh, sessions or meetups around rpa you can always reach out to me it's i am always available it could be a community meetup college meetup college sessions anything see you guys in the next video bye